Hi everybody, welcome back to the Gamers Vault, and I'm your host, James. Um, it's been a bit. I always say that in every video, but I apologize. It usually takes about a week or two before making videos because of life. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. It comes to life. I was away, as you guys knew from my last video. I went to BlizzCon 2018. Um, I was going to show video and stuff like that, but I'm going to be honest with you. I really didn't catch much video. I was more into the panels. I did get some autographs. Um, I'm gonna pop up a picture, maybe right here. I got them to autograph my Diablo, my Diablo uh, Switch game. Um, it was really fantastic. They were great developers. They all took turns at the table. There's a lot. They're big. Then I went to the World of Warcraft uh, table and got them to autograph my World of Warcraft book. Uh, I didn't have a picture of that, to be honest with you, but I do have it. It's, it is here, so I do have that. Um, I got to go close to the stage for the StarCraft World, uh, uh, the StarCraft Two World Championships, and I was able to take a selfie. <laughs> if you followed me on RetroTech 100 page, I think I posted it there. If I didn't, I apologize. But uh, yeah, I got to take a selfie with the trophy, which I always wanted to do. I am a huge StarCraft fan, a fan, excuse me. So, um, I was able to do that, and it was fantastic. That, that I had a great time with. As overall, it was dismal, to say the least. I do, I, I did love the cosplayers, but you know what? I'm not, I don't want to go too far into that. I was going to make this a video about the PlayStation Classic, and it looks like uh, I was going to touch on it a little bit and keep going. Two things. One, I'm still getting my Classic. Two... I don't understand why people are upset about it. I get that the library wasn't strong, but I'm not gonna make a video on that right now. I will make it. I will touch on that probably during the week. I'll make another video about that and show you the pros and cons of what happened, and um, respond to like Metal Jesus and John Riggs, those guys who one kept his uh, pre-order, the other one didn't. And I'm sure you guys, if you go visit their channels, you know exactly who I'm talking about. But this video here as a dedication video now I love doing these these are my favorite kind of videos um, when the retro retro community when I first joined it I didn't know where I was going to be at I didn't know that I was gonna have 421 subscribers to my channel I thought that I would probably get about 10 <laughs> but I wound up getting a lot of you so it's fantastic uh, to have to be honest with you. I met wonderful friends. I've got friends uh, from Retro Tech 100, uh, Kieran, he's from there. I, I met people like Forrest, um, Easy Hacks. He's fantastic for the retro community. He's from there. Um, this video, however, is for one of my friends, and I love them all, but this one I, I had to, to put it out there. Uh, I do follow him a lot, and I do push his videos a lot, because I see what he does for not just the retro community, for a community in general. He's really got a big heart, and I see that. So, this is for Wes from Real Life Arcade. <laughs> him. <laughs> so, if you haven't seen his videos, I've, I brought him up uh, uh, in the past, and of course, I'm part of the uh, Real Life Arcade uh, crew. So when you see my video at the beginning, you see the little intro with the Castlevania. Yeah, that's me. No, this is not a suck up video. So I'm just going to put that out there at, at the least. He kind of inspired me to do this video, and that's the reason why I'm doing it. So today, in the Gamers Vault, we are going to be cleaning up a Play It Loud see-through Game Boy. We're gonna fix its fix its major problem with it, and I'm not talking about the the physical problem of the Game Boy, the one problem that every retro guy had or kid had growing up in the 80s and 90s when it was released. So we're gonna be doing that, and uh, yeah, this is for this is for uh, real life arcade, uh, Wes. So thank you for all that you do. Um, this video I'm gonna be dedicating to you. If you guys haven't seen his videos, I invite you guys to go over there. Uh, if you like the Game Chasers, 
this guy is like just like the game chasers. You need to watch his videos. It's hilarious what he goes through uh, to get these uh, games and what he does. Anyway, what am I talking? Let's let's just get started. Let's get into the vault. All right, guys. So when we left off, uh, we were talking about my play it loud. I had the see through one here. And I used the method that was shown on Real Life Arcade. I silk this in peroxide, uh, the ones you buy at the store for like almost a dollar. And I left it outside in the bag. It came out okay. Not so bad. I mean, it's freezing cold here in New York. I mean, it took out a lot of the yellow. So it looks like it's brand new. So yeah, it really works. You know, Real Life Arcade was correct. So I did that. Now... This is not, this right here is not the board we are working with, but I'm using it as an example for those of you guys who are following along with my video. We're doing a backlit mod first on this, because so there's going to be two mods for this. We're doing a backlit mod, and of course, if you haven't seen it already here, uh, a lot of parts came from Handheld Legends. So, they did sponsor one of my other videos, and I will be doing that. Uh, much later on, I'm waiting for another part for that. See, that's the problem with making these these mod videos for you guys is it's more of the parts, waiting for parts. So yeah, um, yeah. So thank you, Handheld Legends. The first thing we do, like I said, we're doing a backlit mod, and as you know, this is the front screen of your Game Boy. Once you take it apart, there are two screws that are here. Let me bring the camera a little closer here. There are two screws that are here. There's one here, and one right there. Now. Once you do this, right, I'm going to back up just a little bit. We need to remove uh, the this screen right here. Now, you can't just go pa because it is connected to the back of this board. And it's the way it's designed, guys. It really is. So, mind you, this thing is busted already. But I'm going to show you this because a lot of people are going to probably ask me or I didn't do it in live. It's not easy to do this live and record, so I'm going to do the best that I can. You move it over a little bit, and as you can see, on the inside of this thing, it is soldered. It's right there. There. You see it? Okay. So, what are you going to do is you need to remove this silver film on the back of this thing. Now... This is where it gets tricky. While holding this like this with your fingers, you have to take your X-Acto knife. This is what this is. This is an X-Acto knife. And it's very sharp, so please be really careful. Those of you who are young, uh, please get an adult or someone to help you with this, because I'm not responsible if you cut your finger off. Now, you go to the corner of this, to the very tip of the corner, and you slowly peel it up. It'll come up, and do not apply pressure. Again, guys, I apologize if my hands are blocking the screen. Again, it's, it's just, it's hard. So now that you have, I got this mostly peeled up, you're going to see, you're just going to peel it back. And then you'll see the screen. Now, I'm not going to do it all the way through because I have an idea for this unit. And I'm going to need the screen to be on here. But yeah, you got the, you got the idea. I'm going to show you the new one. So, the new one is right here. It's all peeled out. It's all in. This thing works perfectly fine. There are two things that we need for this. The one is going to be the backlight, and I'm going to uh, pause our video for a minute so I can get us prepared with the uh, soldering iron that's in front of me, uh, is the backlight. And we'll, I'm going to show you how we're going to run that, because that has to be run through the plastic, which is right at the bottom, right there. We have to cut a little bit of the plastic to run the line out, or I could leave the little bit of plastic. I haven't decided yet. But either way, give me a moment, guys. I'll be right back, and we'll go ahead and show you the backlit for this. All right, guys, so we are back. Um, I forgot to tell you guys one thing when you're doing this mod. Uh, just 
when you're done taking off the silver lining, get some isopropyl alcohol and with a small Q-tip, just go up and down so you can clean the inside of this. So that way it looks nice and clean when we do the next part. Now the next part is kind of easy, sort of. It requires soldering. So, what do we do? There's a white foam that I had to insert back here. If you haven't seen it, that's what it looks like. I got, again, I got this from Handheld Legends. Uh, it's about $10. Now, I got the older version. Uh, only reason why is I had it previously. Um, Handheld Legends has a new one that's out that doesn't require a lot of the things I'm about to do now. I'm going to show it to you, but to be honest with you, you once you get yours, uh, if you decide to buy one, it's a version 3 model and it has this built-in resistor. This one did not, so um, they sent me the built-in resistor a long time ago, and that's what I'm using today. The reason why I'm using the old one is two things. One, uh, I'm not going to buy another one if this works. Two, I lent my Game Boy to a friend, they broke it, and that's what we're using it for. See, be careful when you lend things out to friends. Anyway, where are we going to be soldering this to? Let's go a little closer and I'll show you. I'm going to bring this up here so you can see the best way I can. Okay. Now. There's a resistor in the middle of every Game Boy. Uh, not resistor, a ca capacitor. It's right there. And it has two soldering points. One, one here, one here. The red one goes on the left, the blue one to the right. Now, they give you a long wire, but don't worry about that. I'll show you what that does in a little bit. Now, what do we do? Um, we tin our wires, which is what I did previously. I pre tinned them meaning that I uh, cut, stripped the wire as much as I needed, and then I put a layer of solder. The reason why this is sticking up is because of the red one. So on camera, which again, this is not easy, I'm going to solder this in here the best, to, the best way I can. Once this is soldered in, I'll push it back down. So... Um, okay, maybe I put, didn't put enough soda. <laughs> um, let's see. I don't think I put enough solder on this thing. Oh, my soldering pen is starting to go. That's another thing I'm having issues with lately, guys. So I managed to start a Patreon, start getting some soldering, real soldering equipment. Yeah, my pen is starting to go. I apologize. I gotta straighten it out. All right, guys, I'm sorry about that. I had to fix my soldering pen. It's better now. I soldered it to where I needed to solder the first one, so that's the one point. I'll do this one live with you. Um, we'll put it to the right side, right there. You can add a little bit more solder to the ball point if they didn't add one originally with the Game Boy, but very little. You don't need a lot. And that's in there. So those two are currently in there now. What do we do with the wiring? By the way, we're not done with our soldering pen. Uh, so, just, we're going to put it to the side for now, but we're not done. What do we do with the extra wiring? Let's pull you back out so you guys cannot see the craziness over here. Well, easily enough, you can tuck it. So you tuck the wiring right here. It's, it's, the wire is really good, though, which is a good thing, thank God. So, um, let me tuck it like that. That's one, and here's the other. This one may be a little bit trickier because it's got the resistor. That, I think that's the reason why they did the Model 3, which, again, if you guys are going to do this mod, definitely you're going to find this a lot easier. It's a little cleaner, too. All right, so the wires are all tucked and behind. I'm going to clean this a little bit more, and then we're going to turn this on. And I'm going to show you what this is about. So give me a moment, and I'll set this up so you guys can see what the backlight does. All right, guys. So we are. I already put everything back in. I just wanted to let you know what the next steps were so that we can continue. As you can see, my screen's a little darker. So why is that, right? So from Handheld Legends, they also give you this. It is called a polarizing film. And as you can see, if you do it this way, it's a little too dark. If you do it that way, it looks a little normal. You put this inside as well as the light. So that's already in, in there already. That's the reason why um, I really didn't want to just show that again. 
but I am going to show you what it looks like. So, well, you know, sorry, I moved something over here. So, I'm going to show you what it looks like. So, let's let's see what progress we made, right? So far, that looks really good. I'm going to bring you guys a little bit closer. Sorry. So now, um, just to show you, if this is what you wanted for your Game Boy, then then you're all done. You can button it up and clean clean it up. But I really, really think we can do we can kick it up a notch. We can do better than what we have. So I'm going to ins install the next part of our uh, of our uh, Game Boy. Just give me a second here. I thought I had it. It's going to be called a Bivert mod chip. And again, you can get this from Handheld Legends. Uh, I think, oh, there it is. So, you can get this again from Handheld Legends. And it looks something like this. So, that's the next step we're going to do in our Game Boy. To make this look even better. And I'm going to show you what it looks like, alright? So, let's get set up and get started. Hey everybody, so we're back. Um, I prepped, I did the prep work for us because it's going to be a, a couple of steps to do this. Um, so let's get started. First we're going to zoom in a little bit more on our friend here, the Game Boy. Okay. Fantastic. Now, I'm going to try to get you in as close as I can, but it may be too close and this camera is not the best. Alright, so... This is the other side of the Game Boy. This is when you take the, the ribbon cable off. This is the other side. Now, I didn't show you a breakdown of the Game Boy because, let's face facts, guys, there's too many out there. I'm just not going to do it. I'm not going to show you. Um, you can look it up online if you want. It's easy. But this is the other half of the Game Boy. This is the back of the Game Boy. Um, when you look at these pins, we have to go to the seventh pin and literally lift it up. There's going to be two pins that you can use. Um, the best way to do this is some soldering wick, wick to wick it away. And then you use the X-Acto knife. Slowly pull up the pins. Now, once that's done, there may be some little things that stick out here. Uh, you can use some flush cutters or um, I use a small nail clipper. It works the same way, you just go to the board, you go bloop, and it comes right off. No problems, no fuss, no muss. Once that is done, what do we do next? We're going to line up our Bivert Mod Chip. Now, the Bivert Mod Chip is pretty simple. Once you get it the, the where you want it, you're going to see... I'm going to try to do this as best way I can. You're going to see where the two pads line up on here. This is where you solder those two little pins that you pulled up. And underneath it is where you're going to get the po the, the uh, power from. One and two and three. Now, all you literally got to do is solder this in. And, and uh, once we're done with that, I'm going to show you what the next step is. I just can't do it on camera, guys. I apologize. Um, it just It's hard. It's hard to do this, this kind of mod with that. So give me a minute. I'll be right back. And I'll show you the finished results with the solder. All right, so um, one more thing I'm going to show you with the Bivert mod. There is a ground wire that goes from it. It goes from right here. I'm going to go ahead and bring you guys closer so you guys see what the hell I'm doing here. It goes from right on the corner here. You'll see it says GND. You can put a little solder there. And then you reroute the wire to go straight up to the corner here, which you can grind ground off the corner and you're good to go so let's take a look what, what did this do let's you know I always like to play that game what did this make happen all right so let's see okay so far so good wait a second why does that look like that that's just terrible bivert mod all right so this is what happened guys uh, when it comes down to the Bivert mod, it turns the pixels some pixels off that don't need to be on and pixels that don't need to be on they t turn them off, pretty much. It's vice versa. That's why Bivert gets his name. That's why you see this little thing. Now, if you like it this way, okay, that's great. But no, it doesn't look right. So let's uh, let's flip the corner. Let's flip the polarizing film 90 degrees. 
That looks ten times better. Much better. So as you can see, it's a lot more normal, and it's con the contrast on this is just phenomenal, right? I mean, it's it's great for what it could do. Uh, who knew the Game Boy can get this way? I mean, seriously, look at this. I mean, you could still play with the contrast if you want. I mean, it's always good to do that, but at least you guys got the way it looks. It looks so great. So let's go ahead and put this in my play it loud case and see what it, see what we look like see see where it comes out because we're almost at the end here guys be right back hey everybody I hope you like that video um I can't wait to show you the result it looks so good so here's here's the play it loud case that I have fantastic right and then um let's turn around it looks so legit I took the serial number off the old main board because technically it's just, this is another main board so I kept that on this because I thought it would be phenomenal I have kind of stayed transitional with it and you know what just to show you guys that I didn't do a switcheroo on you let's take a look as you can see it came out fantastic <laughs> and I'm very excited. I really am. And of course, with any Play It Loud case, they had different ones. Now, Play It Loud doesn't necessarily mean the speaker is louder. What it meant is they had different rendition colors of the Play It Loud Game Boy. And this is just one of them. This was the see-through. They made black. They made red. They made different color, uh, you know, variations of the Game Boy. And that's what they did with this. Um... I just improved on it, so if Nintendo gave us this in the 80s, I think we would have been a little bit more appreciative. But then again, the Game Boy definitely has been around for a while. Um, it, what's harder to get for the Play It Loud for any collector is the collector's case. Um, unfortunately, um, I hate to say it, but I had to buy this one on eBay. So this is the collector's case that the Play It Louds come with. And if you turn it around like this... Um, you'll see the guy had the original serial number. Unfortunately, it's not the one I have on here, but that's the original serial number and, of course, the date that he had purchased it, which is pretty cool. And look, it says Nintendo in the back. And then you open the case like this, and the Game Boy goes in here. Batteries will go in here, and enough extra games that you want to carry it with went in here. So this is the a primitive type of, of case. See? So I'll show you real quick so you guys can check it out. Uh, also, when you put it in here, this is the, this is the funny part. you got to take the Game Boy out. So. Okay, there you go. So it looks like that. That's the way they did it. And it, it's just phenomenal just to have it on here and to have it part of my collection, which I have to still take you guys around to my, uh, to my game room so you guys can check out my collection. I have a lot of games. I've seen a lot of people's collections. So... Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, give that thumbs up. Um, leave me some comments down below. Will you be doing this mod? Would you choose the Bivert mod as opposed to the non-Bivert mod? Also, um, uh, <laughs> well, would you check out the other videos I have? Let me know in the comment section below. Now, if you don't mind, I do appreciate you guys watching, but I got some Game Boy to play. Take care.